Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to store values with an assignment operator. In JavaScript, you can store a value in a variable with an assignment operator. So here they go. They say, my variable is equal to 5. So I'm guessing that this is the assignment operator. This assigns the number value of 5 to my variable. Assign Assignment always goes from left, uh, from right to left. Everything to the right of the uh, equals operator is resolved before the value is assigned to the variable to the left operator. So here they've got uh, my variable is equal to 5, and then they say my number is equal to my variable. Well, because my variable comes out to 5, now my number is also 5. So this assigns 5 to my there, and then resolves my there to 5 again and assigns it to my number. So we're going to assign the value of 7 to variable A. So there's, here's variable. And we're going to make that equal to 7. And then we're going to assign uh, the contents of A to variable B. So right now B is 2. So if we make this A, then B should be uh, 7. Uh, we can run the tests. And we see uh, something went wrong. Do not change the code above the line. OK, so I'm going to come back up here. I'm just going to press Command Z. <clears throat> And so they only want us to change the, uh, okay, so assign the value 7 to variable A. So we can go var A is equal to 7. And then assign the contents of A to variable B. So, oh, here, we don't want to actually assign the variable because after you've already instantiated the variable up here, you don't need to do that anymore. So the program has A in its memory. And then so down here, we're just reassigning it. So instead of having it be equal to, I think, undefined or perhaps null, we're making it 7. And then we're going to say uh, b is equal to uh, a. Um, but semicolons find everything. Now we should run the tests, and maybe they'll pass. OK, great. Hmm. So this could be kind of tricky, because it doesn't really explain to you that you don't use variable in the future. Uh, or in, after, you've used, after you've declared variable to one element, you only use it that first time. So in the future, you don't have to do that when you're on the same file. Um, my guess is that the code still passes here. Hmm. Yeah, but this is actually definitely going to be the way that you want to write it if you're, when you're, as you're getting better at programming. The more you get better at programming, what you want to do is make it so you set the variable, you instantiate the variable early, and then afterwards you do things uh, to it. And so, um, yeah, that's how we store values with the assignment operator. Um, I hope you guys found this useful, and we'll see you in the next video.